What's up, Virgo? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Okay, guys, so I'm happy to be back after like a few days off because I completely lost my voice. So I wasn't speaking for like a good two or three days. You can imagine that my family and people around me were very happy about that. But let's see what's going on with you guys in October 2018. Now, this is a general reading, guys. Um, I definitely don't expect this to resonate for everybody, okay? But a personal reading always will. Um, and you guys can always check your sun, moon, and rising signs because sometimes, depending on what's going on astrologically, that could resonate way more, okay? So let's see what's up. And at the end, I'll pull you guys an oracle card of guidance. Okay, what is going on with the sign of Virgo? Sun, moon, and rising sign, October 2018. What is going on for the sign of Virgo? Two of pentacles in the reverse, balance. Dropping something in your life or making a decision that you needed um, to make in regard, well, in order to just find homeostasis in your life, okay? Find that equilibrium. All right. So we have your past. present and future okay so the energy that we have here guys is a five of swords so it could be a conflicting situation but there's two ways to look at it there's one person who could be kind of like cowering down and shying away from the fight or somebody that's standing there with their sword in the air willing to you know get through it but with the tower card of the verse there's something conflicting that you actually dodge you avoid you don't move forward with it okay and maybe there's somebody who's very bitter about the fact that you don't want to move forward with it but it's just something that was blocking blessings for you and something that you have to let go of okay now going into your past guys the first card that you have is the four of swords so this is a card about kind of being at a standstill, taking a hiatus, and really wanting to meditate on where you are in life and what the best path is for you to move forward and thinking about that next move forward, all right? Two of Pentacles in the reverse, knowing that there's certain things in your life that you have to drop to get balance, knowing that there's a decision that needs to be made to you know, get balanced. And with the judgment card, you know, this is just a very powerful time because you guys know that there's something that needs to be done in regards to finding balance. And at this point, you're just looking at the whole situation. You're really taking a step back and saying, okay, is this good? Is this bad? Is this insanity? Will this help me in any way? Okay. And you know that there's something that just has far too much illusion. And your main concern is balance okay finding peace within your soul and knowing that there has to be a decision made in order to get to that okay the next card that you have for your past is the empress uh, empress card so a new beginning coming in for you guys now the empress card is the goddess of fertility for some of you it could have been a pregnancy for others of you it could have been a start to a new job a start to a new relationship or friendship okay again whatever this new start is it puts you at peace your soul likes it okay it makes you feel easy okay and we have the seven of cups so is this new start the one that you're good with in your heart and in your soul is there something about it that you're not seeing for what it truly is okay but regardless of anything i see you guys really having victory here and what this illusion is referring to is something that you had to close out something that you had to give up uh, that just had way too much problems way too many adversity so you guys are going in a direction that's really going to bring you peace and letting go of anything that was just bullshit in your eyes okay and you guys take control of your life with uh the chariot here as your last card for the past you hit the floor running but this is being in that, you know, driver's seat, really being able to navigate which way you're going and being in control of which way you're going with your life. For some of you, this could have been a literal move, traveling, anything like that. All right, we have the world card. So this is a new chapter. So not only is there something that you're closing out, but something amazing is coming in for you. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So you guys are really starting something new here. And with the Ace of Pentacles, uh, this is going to be a beginning that you really build in a methodical 
slow and you know well thought out way so whatever it is that you're building it really has the potential to last a long time because you're taking that time to stabilize it to make sure everything is solid and grounded at its base okay and you know that there's something that was a waste of time that was very conflicting so you're definitely guarding yourself from that okay whatever that was it's cut out at that point now, in the present moment, the first card that you guys have is a magician in the reverse. In some cases, this could be somebody who's manipulating a situation. In other cases, this could be somebody who decides not to manifest something that is within their power to manifest. Why is this magician in the reverse here? We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So, something that's not working out. If there's manipulation, you're not working on it. If it's something that... Um, you know, you know wasn't good for you, something that just wasn't working out, you're just, you're not moving forward with it, okay? So whether it was manipulation or not, manifesting something or a little bit of both, it's just not something that you want to be part of at this point, all right? There's somebody here who's faking this honest and you don't want any part of it, okay? Now, everything I'm saying here, guys, could be vice versa. The energies could be flipped, so maybe somebody saw you as not being honest or truthful with them and they let it go, Okay? Uh, for some of you, you could be dealing right now with a water sign, a Pisces Cancer, or Scorpio, okay? The next card that you guys have for your present moment is the Six of Cups of the Reverse. So that's reconciling with some, um, you know, very close energy to you from the past, or putting an energy in the past and trying to do it amicably. So let's see what direction this takes. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles, okay, in the Reverse. So there's something here that you guys decide to put in the past. You no longer want to go towards it. And the fact that you do that, you have strength, resiliency, blessings coming in. With the wheel of fortune, that's literally a feeling of winning the lottery. Not saying you're going to win the lottery, but you're going to feel so good about this. Life is taking a very positive turn because you are able to really stand up to something that just wasn't serving you. Okay. Lastly, we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio um, with this card, but this is a card about somebody who could be promiscuous or somebody that's just emotionally, you know, very scattered and all over the place. Why is this Knight of Cups here in the reverse? All right, this wanted to pop out. So we have the Seven of Swords here. So somebody could be keeping secrets. Uh, you know, maybe they're saying more than one person in a, a uh, romantic relationship. But, you you know, this is being seen as a waste of time and effort, okay? But still, I see you guys seeing it for what it is. Um, if there is any sort of third party involved here, I feel that if the third party was brought in, you know, with your doing, that you're letting that go. Okay, and if somebody else had a third party within a romantic relationship, that they're moving away from that in order to focus on this. Okay, so I do see things getting better and something, you know, in your near future being let go of that just, again, you know, isn't serving you. So why is this Ace of Cups in the reverse here for the future? We have the Queen of Wands. So for some of you, it could be um, a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius that you're letting go of. Or some sort of passion that you're letting go of and guarding yourself from okay if this isn't you know anything to do with love this is somebody who's usually very powerful and passionate in what they do someone that walks in a room and they don't need to ask for respect the room knows that this is a person to respect okay so it could be someone just with a very strong and influential sort of um, aura or uh, energy about themselves or just something or person that you actually just have to let go of Okay, but there's too many losses coming with this. For some of you, maybe you are suffering monetary losses because of this. All right, and the next card here, we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse, okay? So you just don't want to worry about this anymore. This is you not being anxious, you not losing sleep at night, you're able to breathe. And we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So somebody here is being very, very guarded towards this, maybe even to a petty extent. And it's something with the Three of Swords in the reverse that whether it's you or whether it's somebody else, somebody is being very petty here because they're not over the situation. Uh, for those of you letting somebody go or somebody letting you go, I just see a lot of pettiness and tension because somebody's not 100% ready to let go. And instead of wanting to talk to you and being you know, kind and wanting to 
kind of be an adult about it maybe they take more of a petty uh you know kind of like a childish approach to it okay but again maybe it could just be you harshly cutting off something that had to go but there's just too much burden here there's too much injustice here okay so it just was that working for you now the last card that we have is the nine of pentacles for your future okay um and this is in the reverse so this could be you getting into a relationship this could be a reconciliation that you have with somebody. In some cases, this could be somebody who's energetically, you know, kind of like a leech. Somebody who expects the world handed to them on a silver platter, but they don't do shit to deserve it. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the Slide of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the King of Swords, so it could be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini that is very strong, uh, strongly around you at this time. And you have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. All right, so with this, honestly, what I'm seeing, I do see someone that's close to you guys and you holding on to them and getting over anything that was just hurtful or detrimental to your relationship or, you know, just to the environment around you. But the biggest thing here, Virgo, and why I feel like this is such a powerful month for you is because there's something that was just so problematic in your life. And you kind of just have that attitude of like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't need this. I don't want this. It's time to start doing what's going to be best for me. It's time for me to stop taking bullshit. And it's time for me to let people know that I'm not going to take any more bullshit. So I feel like at the end of all of this, you're just like, you know what? You're about to see a side of me that you probably haven't seen before. But I'm not going to stand for your crap anymore. So that's really what I see at the end of this. And <coughs> excuse me, guys because you choose not to take shit in a situation it actually preserves something that i feel you guys have going for you that could be going very well for you all right so any sort of distractions or anything that could bring problems to you right now um, i just see you guys releasing that okay all right guys so let's pull you guys an oracle card so i'm gonna use oracle of visions by Cairo marchetti or Ciro marchetti let me not piss off my Italians out there watching. But let's see what's going on, guys. What card of guidance does the sign of Virgo need for October 2018? Let's see what falls out for you guys. I always try to shuffle this the best I can because as you can see these cards are huge and my hands are not. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're going to talk about the energy first and then we'll talk about the card that popped out for you. Now I bought this oracle deck because the pictures just spoke to me and it's just so beautiful this is my favorite artist when it comes to tarot but this is what your card looks like okay for anyone into numerology this is the number 10 so let's see what this card is talking about um i'm just getting acquainted with these cards because they're brand new guys so let's see what's up let's learn together knowledge research knowing the facts being prepared for warned Okay, part of the process of assessing a situation is the use of intuition and psychic gifts, but some circumstances may merit a more analytical approach. Being better informed and armed with a greater understanding of the facts and background to any situation might provide a stranger, uh, a stronger, I'm sorry, basis from which to make better decisions. It appears that the character in this scene has dedicated the necessary due diligence and is armed with a substantial amount of information. Okay. So guys, this is very powerful. This is actually something I was talking about not too long ago where I was saying the most, you know, I've ever been burned in my life is because I got into things way too prematurely because just sometimes as humans, we get so excited about something that it's like, no, I need to hold on to this. I need to go get this. And we let that initial excitement of a situation really just take us so far and not saying that it's bad to do that or to take risks and, you know, just kind of go all in in the situation. But we have to be smart about it, you know, especially if this is something that can affect our life, our money, you know, our heart. 
we really want to make sure that we know what the hell we're getting ourselves into that we're reading the fine print okay if it's a new relationship or a new person um yeah of course it's good to be like yeah i want this person let's go for it but i think that you owe it to yourself to really question why why do i want this person why are they good for me is this the initial excitement that i'm feeling or is this really an incredible human being okay because everybody always looks good at first all right it's very easy to make a first good impression but after a while shit starts to stink and that's what you have to stay around for to see what this person is like how do they treat their family how do they treat waiters what is their view on life how do they want to succeed in life are they ambitious are they going to help you are they going to bring you up are they going to put you onto new books and new things you know is this person going to bring nourishment into your life okay so you guys have a situation whether it's with a boss a lover a, you know a new job that you want to go towards anything in your life do your due diligence make sure you know what the hell you're getting yourself into before going fully into it okay now for the card of guidance we have number 51 here okay so let's see what this is all about virgo okay you know what's beautiful about this a friend of mine um she actually just got this deck recently and she pulled some cards for me this is actually something that came out so that's really cool guys so it says messages deadlines anticipation waiting for a message to arrive can bring anxiety fear hope good news or bad news acceptance or rejection a ticking clock counts down the re time remaining a young woman has been waiting anxiously and the sleeping dog suggests that she has done so for some time the phone is silent and the bouquet of roses suggests a previous response was received but from whom the same sender or someone else either way the anticipated answer finally arrives but by now the clock indicates that the hour has passed just in time or too late the process of waiting for a response isn't merely one of passing the time patiently the immediacy or tardiness of the response may also provide some insight beyond the message itself the deadline imposed may be tied to a condition or ultimatum is there flexibility or has the opportunity been lost okay so guys that's powerful for those of you, if there's something that you're waiting on to come in, definitely do your research. Definitely make sure that you know what this is all about, okay? But in regards to this card, and let me just pull this up again because I want to keep this page open, okay? In regards to this card, you have to be... What's the word that I use for this? You have to have social awareness, okay? Um, there's certain people in life that I'll see them anxiously waiting for a person to like text back or something like that and my mindset on all of this is that just as people we always have time for what's important to us so if there's a delay in response that's something that you have to keep in mind if there's no response coming in or no decisions being made that are coming in that in itself is a decision as well okay if somebody truly wants to be with you if there's a situation that's truly meant for you it'll happen you're not gonna have to overexert yourself but whatever it is here guys is it worth the wait okay is it going to be a good thing if you're not hearing what you want to hear is that a message within itself okay and once you're able to figure all of that out you'll have more of a sense of which direction to go in but in regards to your reading which is Finally letting go of something that was holding you back and being able to strengthen something that you already have going for yourself. Um, you know, just with this, I feel like you got the answer that you needed. You saw what you needed, okay? And I don't think for a lot of you that it's just too late, okay? It's better late than never, all right? So if it's something, even if you've been in it for years and it just hasn't been a good look for you, at least you're getting out, all right, so don't dwell on something don't dwell on how much time it's wasted or the problems that it brought in because you're giving it too much power more power than it already have or had rather so just move past it and say okay well I'm here what resources do I have what can I do from this point on and how can I build myself back up 
okay so y'all are gonna be fine um, you're really making some tough calls this month but it's putting you on a much better path so Virgo I am proud of you okay now for any of those that um, have Instagram and want to keep up to date on which reading I'm posting um, and I also do daily energy so if you guys need some cards pulled you see it every day on my Instagram um, it's high vibrations 44 okay for anyone looking to get a personal reading please fully hear me out right now okay just so that you're aware of how the whole process works so it is a current three to four week wait for personal readings so if you can wait that time that is perfect and if anything changes you know in regards to what you asked and the time that you're waiting just shoot me an email let me know and I'll update um, you know all the information for the reading for when I get to it if there is something pressing going on guys there's three ways to get a hold of me one I do offer emergency readings um, it's about a two-day wait for those readings okay give or take um, if it's on the weekend like anytime from like Friday to Sunday that you guys get it just give me an extra day at most you know I'm usually good with that anyways but I don't work as much on the weekends um, and I spend time with family so please keep that in mind now, um, if it's just something quick and you guys need that quick answer for something, uh, there is an option on my website called um, a cool question. Uh, quick question which I'll get out to you guys within about two days as well at most okay so you know let's that should I wear this dress on Tuesday something like that um, and I'll just give you your yes or no answer or just whatever it is that you're asking me um, I'll send you the answer in a video format okay now the quickest 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 way to get a hold of me is through an app called instant go uh, right now it is only for iPhone users but on that app you can just ask me any questions that you have um, um, depending on how many questions you ask me, I'll send you an invoice. It's ten dollars per question. So after you ask your questions, I'll send you that. And once you send um, the payment, I will answer your questions. Now it's not a video, you know, it's not as detailed as a reading would be, but you get your answer. All right. So if you just need a yes or no answer, or you need to know what's going on with somebody or what's up in your life, um, that's the quickest way to get a hold of me. So all the links I just spoke about are in the description, my website, instant go, all of that. Um, and if there's any sort of reading that you guys need that is not listed on my page please email me um, I'm super open as long as it's not anything like inherently evil that you're asking me to do or um, you know doing anything like a medium would do like speaking to the deceased that's just not an area I want to get into okay so anything like that that's a little bit out of my range but hey if it's you know something that is morally fine and I'm not going into anything dark I'm open. Okay, guys. So I love you guys so much. Uh, thank you for liking, for subscribing, for just tuning into my channel. You guys have always been awesome. And again, I know that your birthday month um, or months just passed. So I really hope that was good for you guys and that you're enjoying your October. Happy Halloween, guys. Take care.